Lots to talk about from opening day. Let's do it on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Friday, March 29th. I am Frank Sample, joined by Scott White. And the biggest news of the day, or one of the biggest news items, Justin Steele exited his start with a left hamstring strain. After the game, Craig Council said Steele will be placed on the IL, did not offer a timeline. And it sucks because Steele was pitching really well before he left. Four and two-thirds innings, one run, six strikeouts. Somebody who might be a replacement, Scott, Garrett Crochet, who looked Great against the Tigers. Six innings, one run, eight strikeouts to zero walks. He's only 39% rostered. Is Garrett mm-hmm. Crochet a must-add? Pretty close, I would say. There are a lot of interesting pitchers to pick up off the waiver wire. If Jack Flaherty's still out there in your league or Gavin Stone, I would probably prioritize them over Crochet because of how they look this spring. So, you know, I say that as reassurance for, for the, the, the people who have Justin Steele that obviously it stinks to lose him and, you know, it might be several weeks before he's back. But uh, there are alternatives, and Garrett Crochet, I would say, definitely emerged as one with his performance on opening day. He is a pitcher who throws very hard, and, like, just the, the way his fastball looks as it zips into to home plate, I, I don't know. It, it's beyond even the 99 miles per hour he hits with it. It just It's always looked, struck me as an impressive-looking fastball. He's got a good slider, too. Doesn't have much beyond that, but there is no better indicator of upside for a pitcher than a swing-and-miss fastball, which Garrett Crochet has, and that he was able to go Six innings in his first start as a professional after some time in the bullpen, some injuries, and he wasn't even a full-time starter in college. I think it was very impressive, and he got the strikeouts. Uh, Tigers lineup isn't the greatest, but you know a lot of people think that that's a team with playoff aspirations. So impressive all around for Garrett Crochet. Doesn't mean he's going to be able to sustain this, but he showed that there is something to see here, and. Um, as much buzz as he's generated, you probably need to pick him up. Would you rather have Garrett Crochet or Frankie Montas, who threw six shutout innings with four strikeouts in his Cincinnati Reds debut? So Frankie Montas is the safer one, but I think speaking to the average fantasy player out there, you're going to want to sell out harder for the upside. Frankie Montas himself does has upside. Does have upside. We've seen him be uh, a pretty high end pitcher in the past with good strikeout numbers, but it's always been a little shaky because he he so, so much depends on the feel he has for the splitter and it comes and goes and so he can be frustrating even when he's not coming off an in, a year loss to injury and all the concerns that go with that uh, plus while Frankie Montas did pitch well he emphasized a cutter more than he had in the past and so that's normally a pitch to contact pitch swinging strikes were down strikeouts were down not saying every start's going to go that way but it's it wasn't as impressive to me as the crochet start. And I do feel like the best case scenario for crochet is, is a little bit better. All right. We got the full Royce Lewis experience on opening day. He went two for two with a home run before leaving the game with a quad injury. He underwent an MRI and currently awaiting results. Lewis has dealt with many injuries in his career, specifically to his legs And uh, two third basemen who are rostered in less than 50% of leagues might be able to get these guys as replacements. Michael Garcia, if you need speed. Michael Bush, who had a good game here on opening day. Uh, Maybe if you need a little bit more pop. Scott, let's wrap up talking about the Tigers bullpen. So on opening day, one run lead. Shelby Miller pitched in the seventh inning. Andrew Chafin recorded the next four outs. And then the final two outs, Went to Jason Foley, not Alex Lang, like many thought would be the case here in this bullpen. Foley looked great. He averaged 99.3 miles per hour on his sinker. Would you actually drop Alex Lang to pick up Jason Foley? I don't know that I'd go that far. You know, I think back to a couple years ago, Julian Merriweather got the first two saves for the Blue Jays, and everybody was thinking he had overtaken Jordan Romano, and it didn't last long. Uh, and then I, I think even more recently than that, Tony Santian got a save for the Reds on opening day, but that didn't last long. So I, I don't know that I'm ready to, if, if, in leagues where saves are scarce, I don't know that I'm ready to, to, to move on from Lang. But this was a really impressive outing 
for Justin Foley, who, I mean, kind of gives off some like Emmanuel Class A vibes. Throws a sinker very hard. It peaks at 101, tons of movement. Maybe isn't going to get the strikeouts of the average uh, late inning reliever because it's it's more of a pitch to contact pitch, but they're they're not doing much on the contact they make. And it was, he just looked so good. And Alex Lang was so shaky all of last season that it wouldn't surprise me at all if, if, if AJ Hinch decided, all right, we're just gonna we're just gonna stick with this for as long as it works. The fact Lang didn't even appear in a one run game, and he's supposedly a closer, not a good sign. Uh, so nothing is certain here, but Foley was impressive enough that if I had Lang, I'd want to back him up with Foley. And I think I'm more interested in Foley, Justin Foley, at this point than any of the Brewers guys, maybe even either of the Twins guys. We saw Griffin Jackson Jacks get a save over Brock Stewart, who, who worked the eighth. But I, I think there's a better chance Lang has legs, you know, since those guys are injury replacements. And, and I feel like there's, if, if he's the guy, he's the guy, and it's not going to become a, a, a timeshare situation like it might in those other cases. Jason Foley, only 9% rostered on CBS. So if you need saves, he is out there in almost every single league. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye. (laughs) 